Warning, the following video contains sarcasm, best delivery service ever, and a very good looking man. It may also contain video games, but I'm not sure about that bit. Anyway, I'm off to watch some Bargain Hunt and get a cup of tea. Bonjour, je m'appelle la UK Gamer. J'habite à la Royaume-Uni et j'adore les jeux vidéo. Quelle surprise! J'aime les croissants et les baguettes aussi. Et je m'appelle Martin. Oui. Hello everyone. So, in case you haven't noticed, I'm actually wearing a French beret, which is actually authentically French because I bought it in a gift shop in Boulogne a few years back, if you've ever been there. Nice place, nice castle. I just saw it, so I thought I'd make a French start. And talking of France and video games, FIFA 06. Uh, in case you can't tell, licence officielle and Le football total. So yeah, this is actually a French FIFA 06. I found it in, I think my local CX a little while ago, so I had to grab it because why not? I'm sure you know by now I love French games and if you watch my other videos, you know I like foreign games as well. So I thought it'd be something different for the collection, so there you go. Anyway, that's not the point. This video, is my first Music Magpie One for Sorrow, Two for Joy video following other YouTube such as the founder of this idea Sean at Retro Games Revived and I know other people have done it um, Al at Big Game Al slash Planet Retro Rob at Colonel De Neo Plays and Alex at Griffo's Retro Gaming I'm sure other people have too but I wanted to give it a go I've actually had two Orders placed and delivered, finally. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. Warning, rant ahead. Well, I say rant, it's more me complaining about the service I got from Hermes because to be honest, it was totally not acceptable and the condition of the package was not appropriate as you're gonna see. And I just wanted to get it out there because it frustrated and annoyed the hell out of me. And in case you haven't kind of guessed, I'm pissed about the whole thing. So, yeah. Anyway, time to show you what the package was like. So, this is actually the first order I placed, but the second order that arrived, because it was supposed to come last Tuesday, this has been filmed on Sunday, and I found out half an hour before it arrived, it was coming today, and can I just say, what a terrible job Hermes has done. No updates about when it was coming or anything, even though I was chasing it. And then when it finally did arrive, I've removed the address, it's not that little rip there. However, I don't know where you can see this, but there's a rip there, rip there, and although there's a little rip there from opening it, it was open like this. So yeah, so great job, Hermes. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, cheers for that. Um, so I placed an order for 14 items. Uh, two Nintendo DS games, as I'm sure you just saw, there are Wii games, there's 10 of them, and two manga. The manga dispatch and came separately, so they're not in here. And this is a game channel, not manga. Although I am thinking of opening a manga channel, so let me know if you'd be interested in that. Probably put anime on there as well. So there's 10 Wii games and two Nintendo DS games. And for those of you that haven't seen it before, the concept is based on the saying with magpies one for sorrow two for joy so i will look at each game look at the condition of it the disc the case whether it's got a manual whether the case shuts and decide whether i'm happy with it i think it's really good or not if it isn't great it'll be a one for sorrow if it's great it'll be a two for joy and obviously we want to have more joys so let's start this the first game i think i roughly remember what i ordered Oh, by the way, I have checked, and there is the right number of Wii games and DS games. I haven't seen what they each are, but there is the right item stuff, so that's good. Okay, 
also look at my top this is so cool uh the first game is hmm this is ironic so the person who came up with this as i mentioned previously was sean at retro games of i and i happen to know he's actually going for a subset of these games so it's ironic this is the first one i pulled out call of duty modern warfare reflex edition i think the only call of duty i have is Call of Duty free for the way, so this is a new one. I do have the normal version of this on the 360. Uh, I'm not sure what's up with the Reflex Edition, but I do like that you can use a zapper with it, which is cool, because I have that for Link's Crossbow Train. So looking at it, it actually looks pretty clean. The case looks nice and clean, and no damage, so that's a good start. Open it and complete, so that's a good start disc um few scratches and dust but seems to be surface scratches i think music magpie are known for refurbishing their discs so chances are if it was badly damaged either they wouldn't send it or it'd been cleaned but no few surface scratches but nothing major so does it do the click test which uh yeah thanks sean for that one two so yep yeah. So, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex Edition is a two for joy. Second game. Oh, maybe this side easier. So. Oh, yeah. This is definitely a me game. Probably a Russell Retro Bear game as well. Babysitting Party. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's compatible with the Wii Balance Board, though. That's cool. Um, again nice and clean no damage it's got the manual and the disc is back to front i know other people have had this and i think it's probably where it's been cleaned i mean the disc yeah a few surface scratches but otherwise looks okay still good idea to check it's the right disc which is in a nice pretty pink oh yeah quickly so that is one of the coolest discs i've ever seen for the way so this is getting a nine out of ten if you've seen it, I like to rate the look of the Wii discs. And this one, I'm giving a six just because it's nice pink. But so far, that's another joy. Just do the click test. Yep. So that's another two for joy. Two for two. Third one. Okay, so Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands. Was part of a two for £30 or 1999 each deal at somewhere hmv maybe if you recognize the label let me know please and include a copy of the original 1992 prince of persia i did not know that that's cool um the disc is case is clean um so that's good complete disc is the wrong way around again but looks good i think yeah just got what appears to be a lot of condensation or something on it whoops it is the right disc, and that's a pretty cool looking disc actually, I quite like that. Um, I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Click test. That one's a bit like, no, it's fine. This passes everything, so two for joy. Three for free. Uh, next one, I have seen this about and bought it just because it seems stupid and to make up numbers. And it is... Celebrity Sports Showdown featuring such celebrities as Paul Pierce, uh, Christy Yamaguchi, uh, Fergie, she's a singer, wasn't she? Keith Urban, sounds familiar, I can't remember where. Sugar Ray Leonard, I think it was a boxer. And the one I've definitely heard of, Avril Lavigne, who appears to be holding some sort of giant bat of some kind. So yeah, random celebrities holding sporting stuff. I mean, Keith Urban's using what would be a badminton racket as a guitar, so I guess he's a musician. Uh, there's also Leanne Rimes, Nelly Furtado, Reggie Bush, and Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm, I think, a, was an American woman footballer. So I think Michael Owens World League Soccer on his Nintendo 64 is Mia Hamm's World League Soccer, if I remember, in America. Yeah. I'm that nerdy, I know that. But it's Nintendo 64, so it probably doesn't surprise you. And football. Um, 
12 action packed sports, archery, I can see, dodgeball. Hmm. Anyway, okay, bit of cellar tape on it over here, which is puzzling. Don't know where you can see that. A uh, little bit of damage there, but overall, should we get the cellar tape off? Oh, yeah, it doesn't stop it being shot. So, yeah, I'll give that a pass on the case. Uh, is it complete? Maybe. Yeah, it's complete. Just add the safety information first. There's the disc. Uh, I think it's just got the condensation level or something. Smudges, but otherwise it can't seem much scratch-wise. So, time for the kick test. Yeah, that's fine. That's a two for joy. Last wee game on this side. Okay, I believe this is at a Switch remaster or re-release. The Blob, who looks strangely like me. Um, launch of Color Revolution. Okay. Condition. Looks good on the front. On the back, maybe slightly bent out of shape there. You probably can't see it. Um, but otherwise, yep, yeah, happy with that. Complete again. Case is the wrong way around, but looks a few surface scratches, but just looks that condensation or whatever it is. Uh, the blob, interesting disc. It's a good looking one, but I've seen a lot better, so I'm going to give it a seven. As for celebrity sports showdown, because I never did it, looks kind of bland if you ask me. I think a four out of ten. So, from that first side, we are 5 for 5 on 2 for Joy. So, going good so far. Uh, starting on the other side. Oh yeah, why stop at 1 when you can get 2 Call of Duties, World at War. Again, another tribute to Sean. So, this one, it's clean. Case looks fine, so that's good. All they use is the zapper. Uh, it's a mystery. But in case you didn't notice it, the manual was sticking out to the side, so it is complete. And the disc is back. You know what? It's not as good as the other quality you want, but I quite like that. I think maybe a seven and a half. Yeah, seven and a half. Disc itself. Hmm. Uh, I think it's actually got quite a big scratch on it. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's there. No, I don't think you can. Um, I mean, it might play, but it does look pretty deep, so I'll give it a try. But, hmm, I don't know. Otherwise, it seems to be okay. The pass is a click test. This is undecided. If it works, I'm going to count it as a joy despite that scratch. If it doesn't, then it's a complete fail. So, I think I'm going to have to go one and a half unknown. <laughs> that might be cheating the rolls, but without trying it, I can't say. But based on everything else, for now, and on the assumption it works, I'm going to two for joy. Next game. Okay, so this is Rock Band Song Pack 1. So I assume there's a song pack too. If you know, please let me know. Uh, 20 all new epic tracks, which means you know what's coming. A retro bear trackless reading. Uh, 30 seconds to Mars by The Kill. All American rejects move along. Oh wait, sorry, no, The Kill by 30 seconds to Mars, sorry. I don't know music very well. I only know that way because I know the next song, which is All The Small Things by Blink-182. More than a feeling, Boston. Oh yeah, the old Barclays advert. Other banking facilities are available in the UK. Ooh, Moon Age Daydream by David Bowie. If you know me, you'll know why I say it like that. We Care A Lot by Faith No More. Trucking by Grateful Dead. Die All Right by The Hives. Calling Dr. Love by Kiss. Give Me Three Steps, Leonard Skinnerd. March of the Pigs, Nine Inch Nails. I assume I'm in that march then. Live Forever by Oasis. Crush, Crush, Crush by Paramore. Synchronicity 2 by The Police. 
Little Sister, Queens of the Stone Age, Teenage Lobotomy, by the most interesting song there, Siva by Smashing Pumpkins, which I suppose is half appropriate given it's the day after Halloween, uh, Interstate Love Song by Stone Temple Pilots, Buddy Holly by Weezer, little fact, I went to the Buddy Holly musical when I was 11, I was that much of a geek then, if you can hear that. And Joker and the Thief by Wolf Mother. I've heard of about three of them. So yeah, since you don't need rock bands, that's cool. But anyway, looks clean. Couple of dents on the back, but I'm happy with it. Appears to be complete. Uh, disc. Boring disc, I've got to say. Maybe a five out of ten. Disc itself looks a bit dirty in terms of dust, I can see, but otherwise looks okay. So this is definitely a two for joy. As you can tell, it passes the good test. So, yeah, got a couple more Wii games to go. Uh, three. This is actually a few months out, technically, about four, but it's my birthday. Or should I say, it's my birthday. So yeah, mini games for your birthday basically. Uh, case looks nice and clean, a bit dirty on the top, but that can always be cleaned. Although it's got a bit of weird colouring at the bottom, as I'm sure you can just about see. I've always got spare cases, but the sleeve and all that itself is fine, so I'm happy with that. Complete again. Right, disc. Which, I don't know if you can see it, actually has happy birthday in multiple languages. We have. Um, Alles Gute zum Geburtstag, which is German. It's my birthday, which I believe is English. Uh, e il mio compleanno, which sounds to me like it's going to be Italian. Because it's a natural Italian accent needed for it. Um, mein Verjadag, or however you say it. But I'm guessing that's Dutch, looking at the spelling. Simon anniversaire, which fits in with this. So I'm guessing you can guess what language that is. And mi gran fiesta de cumpleaños. So that's going to be Spanish. That is definitely going to be Spanish. But that's different. I quite like the stripe effect as well. I quite like that disc. I'll give it an 8.1. Um, but the disc itself, pretty grotty. But. Scratch wise looks okay. I think it just needs a bit of a clean. A bit of a wipe and it'll be alright. So that's nothing to worry about, so I'm happy with that. These have all been very good so far. The only one I'm not sure about is Call of Duty World of War with that scratch. Otherwise that one's fine, which is why I'm saying two for joy for now. But otherwise the other ones have ever scratched have been small ones, I'm not worried about them. So I feel so far I've done pretty well. Um I think generally people have done pretty well. Okay. So, the next one is Far Cry Vengeance. I don't think I actually have any Far Cry games. Well, I might have one or two of the 360, I'm not sure. It's got an old Game Station sticker, which is cool, because I like Game Station. Otherwise, the case and sleeve looks all good. Complete and the right way around. Boring disc, though. About four. But the disc itself looks pretty good. Yeah, a few smudge marks, but that's about it. So, yeah, happy with that, two for joy. Also, I haven't noticed any problems with any of the manual so far either. So I think I got pretty lucky, especially considering the condition of the package. Last weekend is one I saw before, so maybe I should grab, because it was about pound fifty. I didn't. But I've got it now, and it's Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Double Agent. I'm sure I've heard something about this game, but I can't think what. Um, I think the case is a little grotty. I think that's not supposed to be on there. Uh, that bit there. Um, otherwise, on the back, seems fine. Complete. Uh, manual looks in good condition. And the disc. Got something on it, but I think it's hair. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, a bit dirty. But otherwise, Seems to be in good condition. So this one will be a two for joy. And the disc. I like it because it's red. And you know I'm probably like red by now if you see me wearing my football shirts. Um, 
But I don't know if I like the actual design of the disc. So I'll go down the middle. Five. So with the Wii games, we have nine Two for Joys. One which I'm putting at Two for Joy, however, is dependent on whether it works or not, because I can't tell. Um yeah. So as I said there are two DS packages. Packages games. First one is Okay. Imagine my restaurant. Because that's all it's ever gonna be. Imaginary. Although to be fair, I wouldn't mind having a restaurant. I like food and I don't just mean eating as some food, you can see it's well, like bulk. Um I actually like cooking food, like watching food programmes, so I've got a couple of cookbooks. I've got a bit of everything here. Um and out of the DS games, I just thought that could be quite fun. It almost seems like a Cooking Mama S game or uh Ready Steady Cook if you've ever seen it. Yeah. So the case looks fine and it's complete. So that's good. There's loads of Imagine games in case you don't know, but you probably do. For example, in here it mentions Ballet Dancer, which is definitely fit for me, Movie Star, and Doctor. So yeah, it's also promoting Imagine My Restaurant inside Imagine My Restaurant. So great job there. Uh, last one, which is Vegas Casino High Five. Uh, looks in good condition and Again, complete. Every game has had their manual and in good condition, so I'm quite impressed with that. So, yeah. I think that's a two for joy. So I think they're all two for joy, apart from potentially that Call of Duty World at War. So I feel all in all, especially given the condition of the package. If you want an idea, right? Ignore this bit here, because it's what I opened it. But it was genuinely open like that when I opened the door and found the package. Which is terrible. And there's a little rip on the back. I don't know if you can see it. So, yeah. But that was my first Music Magpie 1 for Sorrow, 2 for Joy video. Hope you liked it and the concept. Make sure to check out the videos by the others. I'll link their channels down below to people I know who have done it. There may be a couple of others in there, so I'll link theirs as well. Um, but, yeah. Big fan and shout out to not only the people who've done it, but especially Sean at Retro Games Advice who came up with the concept. It's a brilliant idea. I love it. Glad I could do a sort of tribute with the Call of Duty games. Um, I have got another parcel, as I said. In fact, one sec. Right here. So I might record this now, but I'll probably do it later because I've got a little another parcel coming. I might include it in there. It's not actually a music magpie thing, but... It's a little thing I hope to add to the videos from now on. That's coming later today, so we'll see. Um, it won't be the next video I upload after this, though. That will be a pickup mini, I think. Yeah, probably a pickup mini video. I've got a couple of them to film, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Uh, make sure to like, follow, subscribe, click the notification bell, and check out my other social media. Um, just want to say thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Au revoir.